Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I'm looking a little bit cray cray. I have no eye makeup on or mascara and my eyes are looking so tiny. But if you're new here, hello, welcome. Don't let this face scare you off just yet. I am a London based content creator and yeah, check out some of my other videos if you like fashion, lifestyle, beauty, all that jazz. And for all my returning subscribers, hello. It has been a long, hot minute and an update will be coming very shortly. We guys need to talk, connect, and I know that. And I am very sorry for being MIA, but I am back with another video. I've had coffee, <laughs> so I am... A little bit buzzed but today i was looking back some of my old videos and you guys love a good kiko video you guys love a good like traditional makeup review video and i've got that for you today because today oh you can't really tell with the bag but today we are going through some kiko christmas holiday collection pieces i was kindly invited to their store in covent garden and just like last year, if you watched my Vlogmas videos, maybe go back and watch them. I'm not doing Vlogmas this year and that will all come up in the update. But um, yeah, they did a something similar in store. They had Santa, they had presents, they had hot chocolate. It was so lovely. And we got treated to some goodies. So yeah, if you like these sorts of videos, then grab yourself a lovely festive hot drink and let's go through some of the pieces I got in the Kiko holiday collection. So first things first, you can tell by my makeup that some of the items that I didn't receive, I've put on my face. So I've put on a foundation. Uh, if you want an updated like makeup routine, let me know. I am looking pale AF right now. But um, yeah, I've got a bit of bronzer, eye product, lip liner. I went a bit OTT with the lip liner because we do actually have a lipstick in here. Um, but yeah, so let's just, let me get everything out. So we've got five pieces here. First item we have got is a single, you can see that, a single eyeshadow with, with this lovely like cushion print. So this is their metallic eyeshadow in the shade 03 it's called shell melody and if i just and just give you a little swatch i did fake tan my body <laughs> i know guys the color doesn't match but i don't know if you can see that how metallic that is it's super it's like a champagne gold really beautiful really neutral so we have this which in fact, yeah, it's like a champagne but with like a purpley, like a mauvey nude undertone to it, to Shell Melody. So when you say Shell Melody, in fact, I kind of see that, like the inside of a shell. You know, it's got that kind of oyster champagne colour. That is what I'm getting from this eyeshadow. And then we have an eyeshadow palette. I'm trying to think of what colours to pick, but let me just show you this first. So... This is like the outer packaging, really lovely, super festive, like classic. All the items come individually wrapped in this lovely wrapping with a little sticker on it. Like it's the little touches to detail that are just it's so cute. So let's just open that up. And again, just look at the packaging, so cute it's kind of giving me charlotte tilbury pillow talk vibes with this kind of cushiony packaging but then you open it up <gasps> we have a quad palette of only shimmers so we have all shimmers in here we've got some beautiful colors it's definitely more on the cool side um and i do believe they have more shades but this is the one that i've got which is the 01 color symphony palette um i actually don't mind a cool tone eyeshadow palette on my skin complexion i'm obviously like olive um so i've got a bit of like yellow undertone to my skin depending on the season it is winter i am pale af it's just take that into account but it's actually really beautiful let's see if i can swatch this for you 
on this hand. So let's go on with this shade right here. They are so creamy and buttery. Just first impressions. This is the one swipe. Really lovely. It's definitely like a pinky silver to this color shade. Let's go in with the other one. I will do an up close in a second. This is definitely more of a pink champagne. So that's more of a pink silver, pink champagne. Now we're going into the richer, deeper colors. We've got this shade here. Absolutely stunning. Gore or gorgeous. Definitely giving me like snow queen vibes with that shade and then this beautiful purple i absolutely love this shade i feel like the purple will really suit like brown eyes and it's just got that nice reflective shimmer color to it so it's just gonna make your eyes pop let me just zoom you guys in you can kind of see how it's like reflective, beautiful, maybe up here. I think I'm gonna do these two and just put it all over the, the lid. Considering I'm doing this with a brush, the payoff, the color payoff is absolutely stunning. And I'm just gonna use my finger and intensify that. This looks really pretty color i was like least thinking would suit me i feel like suits me a lot a fluffy brush and i'm going to take this like purpley color and kind of do like an ombre deepen it up a bit and do it on the outer corners zoomed you guys in you can have a look so i'm just doing that on the outer outer edge and then I obviously want to do like underneath the eye and I think for underneath the eye I'm going to go for this purple shade again because it's just absolutely stunning and I'm just going to line under my eyes with it. So what I am going to do just to kind of bring this all together, I'm just going to take this Bare Minerals brown eyeliner go in the lash line. And I feel like this will just connect the whole look together. I'm doing a tiny, tiny little wing. Not very big. So I'll do the other side and then I'll come back and we'll jump into mascara. Okay, so eyes are done. And I'm very happy with how it looks. It really does make my brown eyes pop. And now we are going to go on to mascara i have been so impressed with kiko with kiko's mascaras in their last previous collections that i have high hopes for this one um again we've got this kind of like pillow cushion effect on the lid of the mascara and this is their holiday premiere volume and curl mascara so let's give it a look it feels so good like it, it has a really good weight to it and i love the gold like it's just a very classic holiday collection and this is the brush head here it's curved i like the bristles on this brush i feel like it's got a good amount of bristles that can really get in and define my lashes i have not curled my lashes so let's see if these curl it and for some strange reason I always love to have a super close mirror whenever I'm doing my lashes. I cannot have anything far away. So let's go in. The formula is really nice and thick. I usually, with a mascara, I, I love it to be, you know, sometimes it's too, it's too thin, if you know what I mean. I like it to be oxidized a little bit. So it's thick and gives you that volume okay this is one coat can you see the length it's giving me it's not yet giving me volume 
but I'm gonna go in with a, another pump with a second coat and let's see if we get the volume. Can you see that length there in the middle? I've never had that before. Where's that coming from? I have no idea. I think two coats is like the good amount because I feel like if I went in with another one, it would become a bit too spidery. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of cool it off. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing underneath. And then with any excess on this brush, I don't put it back in. I just do the bottom ever so slightly. I feel like so much more awake when I don't do my mascara. So now I'm just gonna do the other side. So I feel like I have more lashes on this side because the mascara turned out really well on this side. Um, so that is the eye done. And when it all comes together, it is looking absolutely gorgeous. This year, they've just gone more of a holiday inspired. Like, this is definitely, like, more New Year vibes to me. Like, New Year party versus Christmas. So, I guess you have more longevity with this collection. You can use it and use it beyond the holiday season, which I think is great. Now, let's go on to... We have a cheek palette. I always love Kiko's, like, cheek palettes because it's not always just, like, one flat of colour. We have different ribbons of colour here. So let's give this a go it's definitely matte so if you want a more matte look then this is going to be perfect for you oh gosh okay packs a punch i think i did a bit too much let me blend that it's more of that like oh that smells really good i don't know what that is but Gosh, that smells lovely. This is the shade 01 Rose Debut. And it's pretty. It's giving me that, like, old school blush. Like, that natural blush that you would get if you went out into the cold. You know? Like, I love it on my nose. I think it looks so natural and realistic. But it's definitely a rose red. And I actually applied so much that I'm going to have to blend it in with my bronzer. And there we go. And yeah, in this you get a good size mirror in here as well. It's a great take out on the go if you wish. Yeah, I think I think it's really lovely. It's really, at first I thought it was like more of a coral, but I think it's definitely more of a rose pink. So that's nice. And then lastly, but by no means least, I have a lipstick here. So I have it in the shade. It's So this is the Hydro Lip Stylo and it's in the shade 04. This is a new packaging for Kiko because look, you press the top and the bottom comes out and that is how you open the lipstick. So this is in the shade 04 and it is this beautiful red. From the bottom, it looks like I was meant to have a nude, like the sticker, but I don't know if that's the same sticker for all of them. But I have a red here and let's give it a go on the lips. Wow. It's a lipstick that packs a punch, but it's so hydrating. Smells really yummy as well. Wow, packs a punch. It has this really lovely sheen to it. So it looks like you've got a gloss on. Perfect for the holidays. It's a beautiful dark red. I really like it. I'm really getting into wearing red lipsticks more. I'm always such a girl that goes for nudes and shy away from them. But I really like this. And I love the precision of this bullet. I did kind of define it with the edges of this lipstick. It just worked an absolute dream. And I obviously applied it on top of a brown lip liner. And it just blended in so well. And you could just see the shine in my lips. Like they look so juicy, so full. I am like really, really impressed. So that is all the items that I have and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to keep this really short um, 
and I will hopefully get some more videos out for you. So let me know which product is your favourite down below in the comment section and also let me know if you've tried anything else from the Kiko Holiday Premiere Collection 2023. I cannot believe it is this time of year like i cannot believe we're gonna start a whole new year we're gonna and i always look forward to makeup brands holiday collections they always make it so special and kiko have definitely made it special and something you want to keep forever um and it just looks so premium but something that you can carry on wearing after the holiday season for sure hey guys thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video